Hey everyone, good day. So I'm here with my wife Stephanie and finally, for the longest time ever, we are reaching Maracas Beach, beach to do a vlog. And it's been long overdue. People on this channel know that Maracas is not necessarily my favorite beach out there, but it is by far the most popular beach in Trinidad and Tobago. And it's about time I went and took a little look at it. We're gonna stop by the Maracas lookout on the way up to get some delicious local treats and then make our way all the way to the beach where we're hoping to just have a nice relaxing day nice beach food and just a beautiful enjoyable situation where we can take our time and unwind as people tend to come to Maracas to do we're gonna make our way down there now I hope you guys are looking forward to it we know it's been a long time coming and we're gonna do our best to do justice to Maracas beach no matter how much is not my preference so I'll let Stephanie take us out and we'll go out there now Hi guys! <laughs> So our first spot that we're stopping today is Eden Sweet and Sour Hotspot up here on Maracas Lookout. We're gonna get some local treats to carry with us onto the beach. So as per usual, Stephanie is one step ahead of me doing everything. Hi, good day. Hi. Can you Hi. tell me your name, please? Yes, my name is Devika. Devika, and you are the owner of this owner. nice spot here? Eh? Yes, I am. All right, well, I'm quite familiar coming here, as you know already. Yes. So I'm gonna yes. pick out some things. I'm gonna let Stephanie, Stephanie, what do you want to have? My usual uh, plant and chips and a sweet potato chip. Nice, right, so plant and a sweet potato. What will I have today? What will I have today? Maybe some gummy bears. Yeah, feel any gummy bears. And uh, how about some plum chow? And how about plum chow? And we like that kind of salty chow thing. Well, I like it. And then I might have our lovely friend here recommend something that she figures any Trini people should try when they do come in. Okay, so I will recommend the pineapple chow. The pineapple chow. This is quite lovely. It has shadow benny. It's a local seasoning. Okay. Um, salt and the pepper is optional. <laughs> okay. If you, if you... Optional pepper. I will have the pepper because I'm a pepper mouth. Mm -hmm. And fun fact, Stephanie is allergic to pineapple, so I'll give her some and it might knock her down dead. <laughs> And that'll be it. I'll be an eligible bachelor again out there on the prowl. Things looking good. And um, other than the pineapple chow, is there anything else that you really think somebody should try if they were to come here? Yes, I always recommend um, this. It's called chip chip. Chip chip. It's really a sugar cake. Okay. It's made with the chips of coconut and brown sugar. It's an old school sugar cake. Okay. So it's an old school snack made with what you said? Uh, chip coconut. Coconut and brown sugar. And brown sugar. Mm -hmm. But I all for sweetness, so I have a real sweet tooth problem. Talking is not as important right now. <laughs> I'll play some music over this. Yes. <laughs> You. So everyone please remember when you come up here, check out Eden's Sweet and Sour Hotspot. You can also find them on Instagram and Facebook. Yes. 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 So I'll put all the links here for you to check it out and come and support the business. How long have you guys been up here? Uh, 20 years. 20, 20 years. years plus. Yeah. 20 years. So that's, they've been here longer than I, since I was born. You know, because I am yeah. obviously under 20 years old. Yeah, yeah. And I married this older woman here who's in her 30s. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, right? Welcome, take care. Have a great day. So I'm standing up here by this massive Maracas beach sign. So you really can't miss it when you're coming around that iconic corner and the first thing you see is this massive Maracas beach thing. And you'll notice there's a fork in the road which I'll show you here. You could either go left over there or you could go right over there. So the difference is, is that the left hand side of this fork is a quieter end to the beach a little bit. There's a little bit of a fishing village there and also there's a smaller 
car park so it really um for people who come earlier and then go get that park easier if you go right which i'll show you with the drone later but it takes you to a paid par um, car park but it's much much bigger lots of room and it extends the entire length of the beach from there so i like the left hand side because it's nice and quiet a little different kind of access but the majority of people coming to maracas tend to go right and park in a large car park so let's continue on So we now come into one of the first entrances to Maracas itself, which is something that's actually quite nostalgic for me. I used to cross this bridge all the time when I was coming here as a youth. So it's always been here. It's a little bit redone right now, but yeah, I always love this little path. You come right over the bridge, cross the river and straight onto the beach. And what has changed a little bit is actually there's some showers over here now. So when I was growing up, they didn't have these showers and facilities and in here. You used to just have to wash off yourself with the car. But there's actually some nice showers here for people to take a wash off after the beach. So when you're at Maracas, if you are facing out towards the water like I am now, to the water in front of you, there's basically three sections to the beach. There's all the way to the left, dead center, and all the way to the right. And I'll explain it to you, I'll fly the drone a little bit and show you how it goes, but essentially down to the left hand side is where you'll find like the river, the more fishing village side, a little quieter in my opinion, and the bridge etc. In the center, there's the bathrooms. The kind of um, most activity going on there. They do have food all along the entire beach. And then to the far right, you'll find what I call like the rock area where it ends up in a seawall of rocks. And down that area, there's a small football field. The gas stations across the road is actually near to the ever large car park. So it's really up to you where you wanna go, but all options are fantastically great. So of course, when you come to Maracas, you need some shade and you need some chairs and to relax. And that's where my boy here comes in. What's your name, my boy? Brent. Brent and you represent who? Live in Trini. Live in Trini. Yeah. And what kind of things you guys just rent out? We have the chairs, we have umbrellas, we have tents. So when I come to the beach, we have the nice shade for you. Alright, they have the nice things for us. So we good with that. So my boy here go and set me and my wife up with something nice. We waiting on you. You come when you're ready, man. Blessings. Wife, are we comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice day. It's a nice day, a little overcast. But it's nice and breezy and not too hot. Eh? That's yeah. a good point. It is breezy and not too hot. And we underneath our umbrellas, we have our own setup here. And yeah, so we're gonna spend a little time. Of course, I'm gonna go and get some food just now and we'll take you with us. And I'll just do one or two little scouting things at the beach to show you where the bathroom is. And from there, you're pretty much set for a great day at Maracas. So as you know, I said at the start, I'm not exactly the biggest lover of Maracas Beach, but I by no means dislike it. Why I don't really come here is because it's not good for a surfer, I'm a surfer, as well as it's obviously very popular, whereas I prefer beaches that are a little quieter, a little more out of the way. But what's good about Maracas? Well, this actually is a very beautiful beach. There's endless options for food, for rentals. There's actually Wi-Fi on this beach at this point in time, which is pretty cool. And then there's also bathrooms and a lot of places that make life a little more comfortable for large groups of people when they come and you're just looking to line. Sometimes the more secluded beaches don't have all those amenities. In fact, Maracas also has many lifeguards and warning flags for strong currents. So it's also a little more helpful to swimmers and people for safety. What's up guys, what's up? Corez. 
Yes, yeah? cheap rum, La Chapelle. Free slum. Oh, what do you see? Oh, you're going, 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 Okay, hi, I'm not the bathroom boss. You're not the boss? No, you're the boss. Today you're the boss. What's your name? Tanisha. Tanisha? Yeah. Very nice to meet you. My name is Alan. Same to you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Well, what time are the bathrooms open during the weekend and on weekends? Monday to Thursdays, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. And on Fridays to Sundays on public holidays, okay. it's like... 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, no problem. I appreciate that. And what's the cost for the use of the bathroom? Well, five dollars per person. Five dollars per person. Yeah. You hear that? So walk with your cash. The same price are doubles. You can use the bathroom on Maracas Beach. Thank you very, very much. Eh? I hear your partner laughing in the background. We will get here next time. Thank you. I'm now heading back from a walk there, and I see him like living Trini trying to treat me real good. I see them sneaking up with some cushions there. Hey boy, what's all that treatment we get in there? <laughs> <laughs> Some real first class service, Bet better I only come Maracas from now on. I don't get this kind of treatment on any other beach. Thank you very much, soldier. Thank you very much. <laughs> Big respect. Bless up. <laughs> so Steph and I are just chilling out right now. We're gonna relax for a little bit before heading over to get some food. We're gonna fly the drone a little bit and let me show you all around Maracas from the air so you can get a better view in of everything. everyone so we've had a truly fantastic almost royalty like experience today i mean i doubt i will always get this treatment when i come to maracas but thanks to the people who have sponsored the video they've really given us a good show today and i definitely think you should check out all these people that we have visited so far if you are visiting maracas but now it's time for the food and today you know everybody have their favorites on maracas beach but i think it's important for everybody to try a different vendor whenever you can because you never know which one will be for you we're going to be visiting Mom's Bacon Shark today, or Shark and Bake as I say, I know that pisses everybody off, no problem. And uh, yeah, we're going to get some nice food and check it out, so let's go and see what they have going on there. So good day, Mom's, you are Mom's? Yes, Yes, nice to meet you, my name is Alan. 
Okay, nice to meet you, Alan. Thank you very much for accommodating us today. First of all, we appreciate it big time. I wanted to ask, how long have you been in business here in Maracas? Okay, well, this is a family business, right? Okay. After my mom passed away, I it was handed over to me. Okay. Um, let's say about maybe about fifty years and fifty years. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. You know, yes. I'm really glad to hear that. And since um, things have opened back up a little bit more, and are you seeing business coming back? Are you all happy with the amount of people coming? Yes, we, yeah? we are. Yeah, compared to how it was with the COVID. Real bad, it real bad. Really, really so, yes. Yeah. Okay, so things looking good, business looking up, and you're happy? Yes, I am. Well, thank you very much, and we appreciate you helping us out a little bit today to make this video about the beautiful Maracas. Mm -hmm. Thank you, have a great day. Same to you, and I do hope you enjoy your food. I'm sure we will enjoy your food. I know I'm going to enjoy the food. <laughs>